Welcome to the next video where I talk about my collection of coloring books and today we will have a look at my progress in Colorless Kingdom by Chris Artega. Immediately when I saw the first book I fall in love with the artist style with the beautiful designs and I loved them so much that I purchased all three available books. Unfortunately I have them on uh, printed on Amazon. I know that uh, there is artist edition available from the artist store, but because of such life it's difficult to get mails from many countries, so I decided that I will adjust to Amazon paper. And you know what? Uh, they were sitting on my shelf for some time, I was afraid to start coloring in them, but then surprisingly I started to color here using my favorite method combining markers and pencils and now I think that this paper is totally acceptable for coloring. I thought that it would be very difficult to color portraits because I have a very negative experience with portraits in um, books by Coco Vallo where I suffer with my goddesses where I dearly love designs but where it's difficult to color normal skin on that paper. But in colorless, in colorless Kingdom so far I am quite lucky and each and every picture which I colored so far I absolutely love. Here it's a good example how I used different media. That's a background which I did for this Romeo and Juliet with markers, the arch, the morning sky behind and maybe even some of the leaves. But definitely on the leaves um, here I also used pencils. Maybe here uh, markers but here are pencils. And um, on this paper I managed to color with prisma colors, with polychromoses. Polychromos is definitely for me better for skin, but Prisma colors you can also use. So that's a good example of various pencils here. I think that her dress is Prisma colors. About him I'm not sure, but I have videos for all these pictures. If you want to follow, there is a playlist for Colorless Kingdom. It's one of my favorite works in this book, maybe because I love to color armor and here I'm did both um, silver metal uh, and golden metal. I think that color combo looks in the same time quite suitable for warrior and also quite fashionable, mostly because of this purple color. And I love her also because of this unusual hairstyle, unusual hair color. So I think that everything is quite well balanced here, including the background. And yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite works in this book. That's where I realized that I can color here, I can enjoy process and I won't mess up with these beautiful designs. It was my big, um, big fear to messing up with such beautiful pictures. Yes, of course it's possible to purchase a second copy, but I really wanted one book with nicely colored pictures and as I said, so far I am very pleased with my progress. Markers, they even blend quite nicely here and then pencils for the rest. For her dress I remember that I used uh, something budget, maybe Arctic pencils, so you don't have to use only professional pencils. Paper surprisingly normal. Yes, it's thin. Yes, it has this black um, back, uh, which looks lovely, but when you color with alcohol markers for a couple of uh, seconds, you can see only black through the page, so it's slightly confusing, especially when you do such light background as I did here. But after uh, alcohol dries, everything returned to normal. I hope that you can see that her wings, they are also a little bit shiny, because on top of pencils I put pearlescent watercolor. So it's also possible to use a very moderate amount of water here, but mostly I think that it looks lovely because I put it on top of pencils. So it didn't damage the surface of the paper.
Here I used also a budget plus professional pencils. I think again Arctic. Uh, then markers, of course acrylic paint for the form and both uh, I don't remember, but probably polychromoses because I really prefer polychromoses here. I did it for Mermaid and I think that it's quite lovely. I'm especially happy how shiny is her tail. I was afraid to do in similar color her tail and her hair, but in such a way she definitely is a focal point of this page. Even if the vibrant red short, it also I think was a good choice here. I think that all the compositions are perfect here. I absolutely love how uh, Chris Ortega depict faces. They are different. They are not copied from one page to another. And her attention to details, it's also wonderful. So she's extremely talented. I'm very happy that I have all three books and I enjoy coloring in them. That's again markers and I think that I even used color soft somewhere here, maybe on her hair because color softs they have lovely ginger and uh, ochre colors. It's really fun to select colors for the dress, for the jewelry, for the eyes. I really enjoy such moments. Yeah, maybe I didn't color a lot, but at least after. Uh, sometime when I was totally afraid to start doing something in this book. Now I am very happy with my progress. In second book, which is called Dark and Gothic, I have so far only two pictures. This one I also colored a couple of years ago for during February. I usually try to color couples and here we have the stolen glances. Again, I really enjoy to color various types of clothes to imagine what kind of fabric we have here. More transparent silk probably here and here on her dress. A more uh, uh, velvety fabric here on the jacket. So it's really very interesting. And yes, markers definitely helped me to resolve problem. I wouldn't be able to do the background with pencils blending them, trying to burnish paper nicely. You know that on thin paper it's a big problem to burnish it, so the white texture of paper isn't visible. But markers, they really help to resolve problems, so I can enjoy the main beautiful image. And my recent work, which I wanted to color for the first of November, but then at least I managed to finish it un until the end of November. I'm also quite pleased how my Katrina looks. Uh, first I thought about more traditional dress with red flowers, but in the end I decided that I want to color marigolds. They are a very popular flower here where I live, very important to our culture. I love them. They could be quite different in size and variety of colors from almost yellow to almost dark red, all beautiful combos with orange colors, so Prisma color pencils and even a couple of Derwent drawings, especially on her face. And I did it. So, yeah, maybe sometimes blending uh, isn't perfect here, but well, for me it's uh, totally acceptable paper. I don't suffer when I color here like I suffer in uh, Usiku witches, maybe because of the slightly bigger amount of size of the details, because witches they are slightly smaller, or maybe indeed it's slightly different paper, I don't know. So Amazon printed, but still very pleasant to work in. Unfortunately, in the third volume I hadn't colored anything yet, but it's also lovely. I don't know which one is my favorite book. Uh, I love that that should at least try to change a little bit subject, but all three are totally wonderful. And of course I will continue to color in them. Uh, I think that I will try to do something wintery during remaining winter months. And from Chris Ortega we are moving to Herb Leonhardt. 
I have three of his books <laughs> and somehow every time when I received his books from Amazon, yes, they traveled, uh, of course, internationally, but every time they arrived like somewhere I was chewing them. <laughs> very uh, very badly camped so they look very worn out i don't know why and the same thing happened with all three books damaged corners but at least uh, art it's definitely one of the best it's style which i prefer it's subject which i love um the third book finally he decided to do as one-sided and it started to be even better Unfortunately, Legend Nouveau and Fantasy Nouveau, they are double-sided. Uh, but paper is good. I discovered that I can, use the, I can use here almost everything. So far, I used Sue Colors, I used Star Joy, but old edition. I used Arteza pencils, so on. And, of course, Prisma Colors, Polychromos, Color Softs. But I'm talking now about budget pencils. It's totally possible to work even with budget pencils here. Designs are intricate. And, well, it's a good idea to have those spreads with the characters from the same story. Here we have Lancelot, Guinevere and Arthur. But I'm really a little bit afraid to color such pictures. I'm heavy-handed when I press, even with Prisma colors, I'm, I'm afraid to damage the next page. But I do love that paper is um, bright white. I think that it's quite suits nicely, these designs. Sometimes I love off-white cream paper, but sometimes I prefer clear white, and that's what I have here. Again, blend of various pencils and even a little bit of metal watercolors to make Merlin even more shiny. Sometimes uh, these designs, they feel a little bit overwhelming with all those frames, lines which unite all designs and especially those Art Nouveau style um, frames on the bottom. But I think that I a little bit adjusted to the style of her play on heart. And I feel that these books, they are um, sadly forgotten by myself during this year. I will try to pay more attention to them during next year. Um, apart from Merlin, I also have the last page where it was my test page where I tested various brands for different leaves. I still think that it looks lovely. In Fantasy Nouveau, I have a page which I did using Sue Color pencils, where I just got them. I wanted to test them somewhere, so this one made with Sue Color. Quite lovely. And also page which I did for Mermaid. I especially love her wings here. I colored almost everything, the uh, sea dragon, her tail, and I didn't know what to do with her wings, but now I think that it was a good choice. Still matching the rest of her body and in the same time helps her to be the focal point of the page. And the whole background I did with pencils, they blended normally. And many lovely pictures. In the beginning, I was a little bit intimidated by both by very thick lines, which we have for some of the details, and a lot of thin lines for the background. But now I think that it's not a problem. Maybe I gained some experience. During last year, I think, I spent a lot of time with uh, Dragons, Dragon Nouveau book, and surprisingly, now it's my most... Uh, completed, not most completed, but I have bigger amount of finished works. And here I decided to use Arteza pencils. They are soft, they are vibrant and their, their colors, they are really good for dragons. It was my personal challenge to color dragons in different colors. So now I have one red orange. Look at these lovely pictures. I really want to do this one. All of them are lovely. Now I have green dragon in the wine cellar, in the beer 
seller I have uh, this beautiful violet purple dragon. I was extremely happy when I used so colors probably here and all those lovely shades which helped me to make nice gradients on his body, on his wings. Another <laughs> fun couple. Why I love his pictures, not only because that subject which I love to color medieval subject, a lot of beautiful uh, princesses, dragons, but also because many pictures they have this humorous subject. And the final one, it's the fetch. Simple, but I enjoy doing it. And again, it was a nice practice how you can color various dragons. Final book which I included in this video. It's book which is very lovely, but sadly totally abandoned by myself during last years. It was one of the first books which I purchased when I discovered book depository and possibility of international delivery. I saw it, I believe, in somewhere in YouTube videos and I immediately fall in love with the Daria song style. When I received it, I was very pleased with the thickness of paper, with the white color, not very happy with the binding. I am constantly afraid that book will fall apart and I hate when I have such problem in my books. I prefer not to tear pictures from the book, so binding is important for me. When I started to color, I realized that you can see that I already have this paper pages falling out. It was one of the reasons why I stopped to color here. Another reason, it was because of the huge size and double-sided book. I did several spreads here, like this one, with just pencils. I did it with Prisma colors, but I spent such a long time that I realized that maybe I don't enjoy to spend such a long time on one spread. I am not very patient person. So I started to find ways how I can speed up my coloring a little bit. I even tried to color in order. Then I did some break until I received beautiful gift, Neocolor crayons. And Neocolors helped me to get some progress in the book. I did this one, the whole strange pink, purple, yellow sky is done with Prisma colors and only the carriage with neo colors and prisma colors the same neo color sky some white paint and prisma colors only for the carriage and for the paper cranes yes um i was a little bit preoccupied if um, water would bleed through because watercolor I definitely was afraid to use with big amount of water but with neo colors it was possible to use them but I simply was a little bit intimidated by the size of these pictures many of them are spreads like this one so after I did another one spread this one and it also was a huge work all this background with strange bubbles I did with, with neo colors again. Lovely background. I'm still proud of myself how I managed to do it with neo colors. Tubes, the girl and presents, that's prisma colors. <laughs> and I think that's where I started to feel quite confident about coloring still after all this tubes about thinking about highlights, shadows, reflections also. But I simply was tired. I tried to do another background, but I think that here maybe I even used a little bit of watercolor. Anyway, I didn't like the beginning here. And after that, I think that three, four years, it's totally abandoned. It's not a good thing because there are a lot of nice pictures Maybe some of them now I wouldn't enjoy to color because there are repeated elements like this presence. 
to color repeated elements, that's not my favorite thing. But some pictures are really lovely, smaller pictures and pictures like this one. So I hope that after this long break I will do at least something in this book. I will look closer at all available pictures. Maybe I will consider this book as another opportunity to return coloring with neo colors because again recently I did only couple of backgrounds using neo colors so maybe it will be really good to return to them because apart from binding quality of the book is really lovely so it's not very happy moment when it have to sit on my shelf with only my old works. Well, thank you for watching this short video and I hope to return to you quite soon with another portion of my coloring books.